Tonight's business report is brought to you by the Barbados Public Workers Cooperative Credit Union Limited, where you belong. Local company Rock Card Cement Limited is poised to make its presence felt in the region very shortly. That's according to spokesman, businessman Mark Maloney, who says the company continues to perform well as it seeks to expand its operations. We're now in the Trinidad market. Uh, we've had some challenges in, uh, in getting the product into that market and going through the various regulatory agencies, the Bureau of Standards and all that. And I've been back and forth to Trinidad over the last few weeks. And, um, we have, we've achieved what we need to, to enter that market, so uh, we will be in that market in full force. We have product there now um, for all the various suppliers to do their testing and so on, and um, we will be in that market by, um, by mid-August. Uh, we're entering Guyana, St. Vincent, Grenada, and St. Lucia in August as well, and then we're exploring other territories, but so far the, the product has been very, very well received. Barbados has slipped slightly in the rankings in the latest Doing Business report by the World Bank. Barbados is now ranked 119th in the world out of 189 countries, slipping three places from 116th in the world last year. Under the different individual subheadings, Barbados dropped to 100 from 95 in terms of starting a business. The largest individual drop was eight places under the subheading of Getting Credit, where the island dropped from 118th to 126th. In assessing the review period, the report said Barbados made paying taxes more costly for companies by raising the ceiling for social security contributions and introducing a new municipal solid waste tax, which has been since abolished. Well, here's a look now at how stocks traded on selected exchanges across the region.